controlling the descent of the squat, as well as raising the, the, the person up from the basement of the squat uh, with proper technique. Proper technique being knees coming outward over the toes. So we just keep the uh, thing on Jared. What Jared's going to show first is what occurs when you have a, uh, a fascially contracted or a hypertonic adductor magnus. So if he squats down very, very slowly, okay, come back up. So this time he's going to uh, need to come in. So if he squats down and you see a dipping in or a medial deviation of the knee, okay, come back up. One of the problems might be that when he is actually doing the squat, because of the insertion of the adductor magnus, when the muscle lengthens out, it will actually cause the knee to come in, and that's as the muscle, as the person is descending, as the muscle is eccentrically contracting. So that's uh, scenario number one. Scenario number two is when the muscle length is fine, but when the person tries to lift himself out of the squat, the adductor magnus doesn't have enough strength uh, to contract while it is actually lengthened in the basement of it. So when he comes back down, the adductor magnus is now uh, lengthened. So when he goes to contract from a lengthened position, if the adductor magnus can't handle it, what he'll do is he'll medially deviate the knee. Now, why is he medially deviate the knee? If you come from a side view, or actually I just get you to turn this way. So if he squats all the way down normally, so what happens when he immediately, immediately deviates the knee is he pushes the knee forward to come back up. So by pushing the knee forward, what happens is the person will actually cheat in the squat by calling on more of the quadricep. So by bringing the knee over the toes, he's able to utilize more of his quad as you would see with the front squat instead of using that adductor magnus uh, contraction to pull him out of the basement of the squat. Um, so those are just two scenarios that can cause medial uh, deviation of the knee uh, if it's caused by a problem with the adductor magnus. And in the next uh, part four of the blog, I'll actually show you some exercises that you can do to correct both of these, uh, of these uh, biomechanical errors.